So how do you feel about AI negotiating with you? It persuades you to take an action that's in its interest, but also benefits you. A future where AI is not just a chess master, but also a skilled diplomat working on behalf of nations. There's a lot at stake here. Today we'll be discussing the game of diplomacy and how AI agents can now negotiate, persuade and cooperate to achieve a desired goal. It's hard to imagine world leaders relying on artificial intelligence during a UN summit, for example. But if you compare that to another interesting case where an AI lawyer provides legal counsel to a defendant in court, the two aren't too far apart. Yes, you heard right. An AI lawyer will be defending a person in court this February. I made a short video on that which I'll attach in the description below. Just when you think you can't be surprised by AI anymore, you get surprised again and again. We'll be mainly talking about Cicero, the AI diplomat, coming out of Meta AI's lab. We'll also discuss interesting findings from DeepMind on the same topic. You'll want to stick around for that. If you're ready, then I am. Let's dive in right away. Diplomacy is a way of managing relations in order to resolve conflict and build alliances peacefully. This is where trust is formed and broken in the blink of an eye. Diplomacy in the game world is a board game where you play as one of the seven great powers of 1914 Europe and compete for control of the land and sea regions. Each player competes to control key regions on the board using military units and diplomacy. But this isn't your average game of strategy. Cooperation and persuasion are just as important as military strength. Each player must navigate the complex web of alliances and betrayals using diplomacy to outsmart their opponents and gain control of the supply centers. Cooperating with other players and attacking when necessary are difficult for humans to do and even more so for AI. A perfect balance of patience, persistence and the ability to think several steps ahead is needed to command power when playing the game. Unlike other games where luck plays a role, diplomacy has no such thing to rely on. It's based on wit, a level of cunning and precise decision making. So how does Meta AI build such a system that's able to beat many human players and end up in the top 10% of participants? I'll tell you how. Meta created Cicero, an AI that combines advanced strategic reasoning and natural language to work effectively with humans. It can understand other players' objectives, propose shared goals, and communicate with clear intent. You can think of the strategic reasoning piece as a planning machine where Cicero predicts what moves other players are likely to make, as well as what moves they expect the AI model to make. Cicero then takes all of this information and predicts a final outcome that is often favorable for the group involved. This final outcome is converted to natural language, which is understood by human players. Cicero's dialogue with other players is often communicated in a very confident and direct manner. Unlike other games like Chess and Go, where the focus is on the movement of pieces, diplomacy is all about understanding your opponents and their actions. A player who can't spot when someone is bluffing, or when a move may be perceived as aggressive is sure to lose. But it's not just about outsmarting your opponents, it's also about building relationships and communicating effectively. In diplomacy, showing empathy and speaking with knowledge about the game is just as important as having a winning strategy. It's what will make other players willing to work with you and ultimately lead to victory. On each round of play, Cicero might negotiate tactical plans with one player, reassure another about its intentions, and just engage in casual chit-chat with a third player, almost about anything a human player might be likely to discuss. I must admit, the first time I heard about Cicero, the most immediate concern that jumped out at me was the possible dishonesty from the AI in order to achieve its goal. The team at Meta, however, realized that if Cicero played in a mostly dishonest way, its chances of success were vastly reduced. Like humans, once we've been deceived one too many times, the chances of believing the same individual are almost non-existent. Generally speaking, of course. Early in the project, we spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out how do we balance between honesty and deception when it's necessary. Um, but in the end, we found that basically making Cicero honest all the time about what it was going to do actually was the led to the strongest play, which I think is pretty interesting. Because once you lie to someone, it's hard to know when is an okay to time to lie to someone. And once you do, there's no going back. I, I am interested in, in how you made it so that it didn't just give all its moves away. Yeah, so once we made it fully honest, it sometimes like leaked information that allowed people to take advantage of it. And so we did have to add an additional step that tried to calculate basically, if I give this piece of information, given this message, can the other person take advantage of me? And we do have a something in the system that will block messages that allow Cicero to be exploited. 
Okay, let's now take some time to understand in detail the effects of AI dishonesty. DeepMind, another brilliant AI lab, studied deception in more detail in a separate research they did. The insights from this are quite amazing. The lab divided AI agents into distinct roles, each with a purpose. We'll go through them one by one. Let's begin. The baseline negotiator fulfills every promise made in the game. The deviator agent has the potential to deviate from contracts. And finally, the defensive agent who responds adversely to deviations. DeepMind noticed that deviators were mostly successful when left unchecked. They took advantage of the continued honesty from the baseliners. Here's where the defensive agents come in. They make sure deviators pay for their dishonest actions. How do they do this? They either stop cooperating with them or impose sanctions whenever the deviator agents are dishonest. These methods, especially sanctions, are very effective against simple deviators. But guess what? There is a new breed of deviators called learned deviators. They're essentially spy agents. They have figured out optimal ways of going against contracts, only striking when the time is right. They move with stealth and cunning, which mostly requires them to be honest on 99.7% of their contracts. From this finding, honesty does go a long way in building a healthy cooperative environment, as also observed by Meta AI. Another interesting observation by the DeepMind team was that the more the number of agents started to deviate, the more costly it became to sanction the deviators. And so what ended up happening was some sanctioning agents also began to deviate, leading to total chaos in the game. The DeepMind lab plans to extend this further by exploring other defensive tactics against deviators. What other ways do you think will fully work against these learned deviators? A very tricky bunch. Let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoy this topic, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more jaw-dropping content in AI. It helps us reach a wider audience. You can now see how a 10th generation version of this AI might be used to influence real-world scenarios in the future. If the same approach can be used to train on historical data about real-world diplomacy, including alliances and acts of war, then this can quickly become a problem. It can tell you exactly what move to make, who to trust, and when to break a promise. The ethics of AI guiding these negotiation techniques are a bit concerning. Just thinking out loud, but maybe a way to overcome a very powerful AI at the game of diplomacy is to be an outlier. Just like we've seen in Westworld, the HBO series. Of course, this assumes that there are an infinite number of outlier actions you can take. Tell you what. Your kind. The outliers. It all started with you. Meta plans to use the learnings from this research for the Metaverse project in exciting areas like gaming. Imagine a video game in which the non-player characters could plan and converse like people do, understanding your motivations and adapting the conversation accordingly to help you on your quest. Cicero is not about the game of diplomacy. We're using diplomacy as a benchmark to measure our progress. In another corner of AI ethics news, an open source code of AI acting as a lobbyist was released not too long ago. Yes, a lobby AI. The AI system searches for proposed legislation that may affect the company and then writes emails to policymakers requesting changes be made. Absurd, right? Or maybe this is just the next step in our AI evolution. The project is still in its early stages, but it's important to start talking about these fringe AI applications and how they may affect us in the future. The worry is that as companies start to fully rely on AI lobbyists, the proposed policies may start to drift away from what humans truly want. How do we make sure AI motivation is aligned with human motivation? This is a tricky challenge. However, there are a lot of researchers investigating this. I don't want this to be a long video so we can end things here. This was not intended to be a panic video about AI. It's meant to simply inform you about some interesting AI products and how to begin to think about them. Six different conversations simultaneously, which is actually very different to other dialogue settings people have explored before. It's human-like, it's strategic, it's frustrating sometimes, it's persuasive. AI diplomats and AI lobbyists, hmm, we're definitely living in interesting times. What do you think about this new AI revolution? I'll be reading your comments. Before you leave, make sure you check out these other videos. One talks about the AI lawyer and the other talks about the five biggest companies in 2023. I'm sure you'll love them. Thanks for watching. Until your next video, it's goodbye.